On Saturday, August 4th, President Donald Trump visited Olentangy Orange High School for a rally in support of Troy Balderson, the Republican candidate in a special election for the House of Representatives seat in Ohio's 12th District. The election took place on August 7th as a result of Republican Pat T. Berry's retirement. Balderson faced off against Democratic candidate Danny O'Connor and won by less than 2,000 votes. For many who attended, such as Orange High School junior Josie Vance, the president's visit may be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I think it's just pretty cool that the president's coming to our school and that like we go here still, so it's pretty cool. I saw it on social media and I don't know, my mom told me to come, so I did. For Dublin resident Chen Hao Ma, attending the rally was not a matter of supporting or opposing a kid. Rather, it was a chance for her to become more aware about the election and be politically involved. Um, this is the first time I've been to a Trump event, but previously I have been to um, many other global events. Uh, I enjoy going to them just because um, I really like to be involved politically. I believe a lot in political activism, whether it's voting or attending these events to try and be a little bit more informed about our local politics. But um, I definitely would go again in the future. Dan Oxley of Marysville decided to attend to show support for the president's actions in his first term. I support Donald Trump and uh, just wanted to, to show support, I guess. And we're, we're okay with um, how things are going right now. No matter the reason for attendance, the general motivation of those inside was related to the president, not the candidate he was there to promote. I came with one of my friends. Um, I decided to come today just because, um, not whether I like Trump or not, but I just wanted to see the president in person and get a chance to um, hear him speak. Outside the rally, many protested Trump's appearance. People like us have to create a platform. So this is our way of kind of getting our message out there. And when you're consistently told that you're illegal or your family's terrorist, it's kind of hard to suppress that. So you kind of have to just build your own platform and advocate for yourself. So it's kind of distressful to see the country go down such a track where kids are brought up to hate themselves because of what they see on TV. You can't uh, discuss differences without being angry and without having real dialogue, instead of saying, this is what I think, and then be mad at them, it's, we need open dialogue. Just listen, just listen to people. If you, I just came back from India, if you talk to people all over the world, everybody has the same, same thoughts, same desires, same passions, same grievances, you just have to listen. But some Trump supporters stayed, even though they didn't get inside the rally. I, I, I approve of what he's doing for the economy and for the American people. Uh, it's, it's something that I think is important that he, he supports the police, he supports the military, he supports American business. Um, he's kind of taken a, a bad rap on the, uh, the border wall, but coming from New Mexico, I know exactly Talking about. Students also took issue with the fact that the rally was held at their high school. I strongly disagree with where the, where the rally itself is being held. I feel like there could have been more neutral locations, but it doesn't seem like to media and to other schools, but all students of Olentangy Orange High School reflect the same views as Trump and his supporters since campaign, because that's obviously not true. And so I don't really agree with having it at our school, and I think that really misrepresents Orange's values of diversity and uh, acceptance. Well, it's just that the school consistently told us, like, when we wear shirts that are political or when we hold stuff that's kind of political, they tell us that the school's not allowed to politicize anything. So it's kind of disheartening to see that a political figure is coming here to advocate for something that we were told we couldn't do because of our stances. Whether you are a Trump supporter or not, the events of August 4th will be an important part of Olentangy Orange High School's history. I'm Jacob Fulton, reporting for The Juice.